The Androids Training Simulation is a purpose-built operator training simulator designed specifically to allow operators to learn to run a plant under realistic conditions. For this demonstration, I'm showing the lime kiln area of a pulp mill. This, however, is just one of the many areas we have available. You can see here that the operator interface is configured just like a modern DCS and follows a standard hier hierarchical display structure. This, of course, is the overview page of the kiln process area. Each area has multiple detail pages, which allow access to the individual equipment pop-ups. Motors, as you can see here, provide a complete interlock list, and first out indication would appear here if the motor had been recently tripped. Similarly, PID loops show the same set of features as a normal DCS interface. In order to start the simulation, we navigate to the simulation control page. This page provides the buttons to start and stop the simulation, status information, and a variety of other information that is relevant to running specific scenarios that evaluate user performance under certain conditions. To start the simulation, we press the play button here. This splash screen appears to show that the simulation is loading. Once the simulation has loaded, the splash screen disappears and we can see that it is running from this status indicator here, but is also in the pause state. We can resume the simulation with this button here, and the simulation time starts increasing. This here is the main kiln page. We can see that the model has started in its default state, which is with all equipment shut down. Since we want to work with a running plant, we'll just go back to the simulation control page and load a snapshot of the plant saved in the condition we want. Once the snapshot's loaded, we can go back to the kiln page and we can see that all of the equipment is now running. Now let's work with the dynamics of the plant a little bit. Using this PID controller as an example, we'll, t we'll play with the primary pressure control. Here you can see that we're trending the performance of the loop and you can see the transition from the previous state to the shutdown state to now the condition where the snapshot was loaded. Going back to the control page, we'll increase the set point a little bit, up to 70 millibars, and then observe the control response. You can see here that the CV responds immediately in a realistic manner. This is possible because behind the operator interface is an IDEA's dynamic simulation, which is providing a real-time model of the plant from PERS principles. Here we can see an internal profile of what's actually going on inside the kiln. We can view a variety of temperatures for the solids, the gas, the inside wall, and the outside wall temperatures. These are being updated in real time based on information that's provided from the model, and you can see that this is considerably more detailed than what would even be available with instrumentation in a real plant. This is done to help the operators gain a better understanding of the process that they are controlling. We can even see the degree of the chemical reaction inside the kiln, and you can see here that calcination is actually just beginning to proceed towards the discharge end of the kiln, as this snapshot was saved in a very early warm-up state of the kiln startup process. Now we'll take a look at the IDEAS dynamic process model, which is running in the background. The IDEAS model is built from a library of objects, each of which represents a certain piece of equipment. Some of these objects are simple, like pipes and pumps, whereas some other objects are much more complicated, like this one here, which represents the kiln. As you can see from this tab of the kiln pop-up, the kiln is divided into 25 separate zones down the length for calculation purposes, and the object is calculating the temperature of each zone in real time. From this tab, you can also see that the chemical composition of each zone is also being computed in real time. Once we're ready to stop the simulation, we just return to the Simulation Control tab and press the Stop button. This shuts down the model and saves the result. 
This brings us to the end of the general demonstration. For more detailed look at other training videos and process areas, please check out our other videos.